For tonight's Eye on the Environment report, we turn to, to Copenhagen, where world leaders are focused on the long-term and potentially devastating effects of climate change, namely global warming. But for all the scientific ammunition being presented at the UN conference, some stolen emails are giving encouragement to global warming skeptics. Just as the world seems finally poised to do something about global warming, an inconvenient scandal. Let's start with the science that has been so settled for all these years. Skeptics of climate change suddenly have plenty of new fodder. There's increasing evidence of scientific fascism that's going on. A thousand emails dating back more than a dozen years stolen from a top climate research center in Britain. For the taxpayer's sake, let's look at this uh, controversy from top to bottom. As the controversy heats up, the consensus about making the tough choices to curb carbon emissions threatens to crumble. Poor Al Gore. <laughs> Global warming completely debunked via the very internet you invented. Oh! In the emails, the scientists are downright dismissive of naysayers. In one message, a researcher at Lawrence Livermore Labs offers to beat the crap out of a leading skeptic. In another, Penn State's Michael Mann suggests hiding data from dissenters, writing, this is the sort of dirty laundry one doesn't want to fall into the wrong hands. Imagine somebody going through all of the emails you ever sent looking for a single word or phrase that could be twisted. One of the most damaging email exchanges credits man with a trick to hide the decline in temperatures. In another, the head of the National Center for Atmospheric Research writes to a colleague, the fact is that we can't account for the lack of warming at the moment, and it is a travesty that we can't. It shows uh, human nature at work, mm -hmm. uh, but, but I don't think it throws any, uh, casts any aspersions on the, the science. There is uh, nothing in the hacked emails that uh, undermines the science. That may be true, but the emails threaten to undermine the political effort underway in Copenhagen. This is going to get worse. They are going to use this and blow it up way beyond anything that the evidence supports. At a recent book signing in Chicago, Al Gore was a soft target. Research climate gate, this guy's a fraud, it's a scam. Their protesters wasted little time posting their antics online, where their message now has a worldwide megaphone. And that's a look at your headlines. We'll see you back here tomorrow night on Richard French Live.